Five hours for police to arrest a 49-year-old man who threatened to set off this bomb, allegedly, near the U.S. Capitol. We're still learning about him. He was ranting in a way that you will find familiar and obnoxious. I'm just warning you, Biden, don't pull the trigger on this truck. I'm not responsible for it. It's my land. It's your land. We're the people. Take and stand, Joe. Got all them people dying in Afghanistan, all them kids been raped. Just let Taliban run right through. Now, a lot of that, especially about Afghanistan, and he went on about how you're letting all these, um, these illegal immigrants from Afghanistan, a lot of that or fringe right wing and Fox talking points. He didn't have an actual explosive. Police say he did possess possible bomb making materials in the truck. So are we gonna be seeing more of this? Well, Chris, uh, I think the thing that surprises me most about him is that we haven't seen more people like him doing things like this, particularly here in the Capitol and, and up on the Capitol grounds. DHS terrorism threat bulletin that DHS put out only six days ago, which calls out all the terrorism issues that they're most concerned about, specifically talked about people just like this guy, violent extremists motivated by personal grievance, uh, people who've consumed conspiracy theories uh, on in certain online forums and, uh, and places on the internet. That's what you saw today. Um, with as deeply divided as we are right now and with as many conspiracy theories and false, uh, false theories that we have rolling around out there, I think you're going to see more of it. Uh, Saber, first, our thoughts and prayers are with your family. What are you hearing on the ground? And there were many thousands of people that were promised by our government, if this day ever came, we would get them out safely. Is that correct? I, I know as a parent, as a father, I know you see these images of mothers and fathers literally taking their babies, their young babies, throwing them over the wall with barbed wire because they know the fate of these women, sir. Many of them who believe in liberty and freedom, they believe in liberty and freedom more than even some Americans believe in liberty and freedom because they know what it's like to not have it. Sean, our government has to do something. They need to secure that perimeter. We need to get Americans out and we need to get our Afghan allies and Americans home. Hey, Drone Tech here. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, and let me know what you think in the comments.